Kampala International University, East Africa's stellar and fastest growing university, is on the move. In its trail are contented students, parents and alumni. At Kampala International University, I just feel like I'm still at home where I was studying previously because everything is smooth for me and everything works out well for me. So I feel it more comfortable and uh, convenient for me to study at Kampala International University. Since its inception in 2001 as Uganda's premier private university, Kampala International University has grown in leaps and bounds, transforming itself into a hub of excellence. Fifteen years down the road, KIU has evolved and overcome the fears of its initial skeptics. That being a pioneer as a private university venturing into uh, medical education, of course uh, the country had not experienced uh, such before, so you would expect uh, the obvious reactions you know, from the public, uh, from the regulators and so on. The skepticism uh, was all there. But uh, as they say, the rest is history. A key landmark for the university was when it joined the cluster of the few chartered private universities in the East Africa region. What does this mean? The Vice-Chancellor explains. The charter is the uh, topmost uh, instrument that is given to an institution as a mark uh, of quality and recognition, uh, both at the national, regional and international level. The university boasts of four campuses in Tanzania, Kenya, Ishaka in western Uganda and the main campus in Kampala. It is on these campuses that the university is pursuing its vision of being a premier institution of international repute that prepares students for the world of work and for an inclusive society. The staffing also reflects our international outlook. You will find lots of professors, for example, from Cuba, you will see them. Uh, from Nigeria, from Spain, and so on. So we are a university that is not limited by the limitedness of the skilled uh, human resource in the region or in the country. We will, we will go and look for them where they do exist to make sure that we deliver uh, our programs the way we are supposed to de deliver them. Currently, the university offers a diverse range of courses in various disciplines including law, health sciences, computing and information technology, humanities, social sciences, engineering and applied sciences, economics, business and management, and education. The postgraduate school offers masters and PhD programs. We are running uh, close to 120 academic programs. We are positioning ourselves as uh, leaders in uh, training and would like to uh, emphasize and expand our horizon in delivery of science and technology related programs. We would like to see our campuses thrive on uh, churning out the brilliant ideas from our students and staff. We would like to go into innovations we would like to uh, harness uh, knowledge development. We would like to build capacity of the local communities. So we, we are hopeful. We keep changing, we keep improving whatever we do. In delivery of these academic programs, KIU attests that it is not only international by name, but also by its nature and design. It is host to students and teaching staff from over 15 nations of the world. I think it's one of the universities with more potential in East Africa. I think that's why I came here and why other faculty who have been working with me, organizing workshops and um, establishing um, projects, I think that's why we, why I moved here and why we thought that investing our efforts in KIU was important. KIU regards each student as a unique individual who brings to the learning environment certain strengths and ideals. Then sits the role of the university to assist students to actualize their strength. KIU is delivering this in well-designed and thought-out spaces such as this e-learning and state-of-the-art library. We have a book collection of 65,000 volume books. And in terms of journals, 
uh, they are uh, especially the electronic journals they are uh, over 10,000 electronic journals now uh, in terms of electronic books they are over a million we have a, a, a over a million electronic books The facility seats over 5,000 readers, and it's one of the largest in Africa, second to one in Egypt. Like continuing students, fresh students at all the university campuses are excited by the experience. We are enjoying because, especially now practicals, uh, we do lab practicals, and when it comes to patients, we are always with patients, and I feel okay when I do a procedure on a patient and the doctor marks me and sends for me in the logbook. Here at the university, they try to put the two in the same place. What you do theoretically, they ensure that you do it practically also to have the fee of exactly what you learn. Seated amongst the sprawling hills of Western Uganda is KIU's Western Campus. The campus hosts Uganda's and perhaps East Africa's largest private teaching hospital. After studying anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology, pathology, they come down here for, in the hospital for clinical exposure. Each year, KIU produces about 400 doctors and nurses. This number is probably more than all the other institutions produced collectively in Uganda. This is evidence that the university is effectively tackling the shortage of medical professionals in the East Africa region. Programs offered here include biomedical sciences, medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing and public health. At the end of the day, when the student has rotated in all these disciplines, he's an all-rounder person. He knows everything about medicine. And by the time he comes out, he's a, a well-trained doctor. Students at KIU benefit from the university teaching style of fusing academics with practical training and outreach activities at hospitals such as Kiriandongo Public Hospital. All this increases students' employability. When the doctor has completed, you'll find that the, the, this doctor is ready to serve both in the rural and urban area because of the exposure that he has had during the training. The quality of KIU's medical doctors has been commended by the Medical Council. It is this quality that is attracting others from the region seeking to advance their careers. Dr. Ahmed Sho is among them. As a doctor, I worked for five years. My own sister studied in this university, she finished, and all the doctors I've seen in Kenya, whom I taught myself, who were under me under supervision when they were doing their internship, they were perfect. So as I saw all these doctors were very good, they have good reputation according to me, as I've seen them personally through experience. So I said in KIU there should be something good. That's why I decided to come here. KIU is pioneering in all its programs. In its Institute of Biomedical Research, the university has established Africa's only Drosophila research laboratory. The main reasons I came to KIU were to establish a research lab for everybody and then to establish a fly lab as my own expertise. So I have been helping people in other departments to use flies as a model for the biomedical research. Um, and that is something very unique about this place because in the whole of sub-Saharan Africa, there are like three more groups that are using Drosophila for research. Now the key for this is that it's a much cheaper model than rats, for example. And at the same time, it's much more powerful when you are doing experiments. So in, in that aspect, we are one of the first fly labs in sub-Saharan Africa. The terrain of higher education is, is radically changing and, and uh, it's changing very, very fast. So we, we have to scan the global environment and, and we have been doing our homework. We want to see what is happening in these leading nations and 
what are the trends, where are they going, and what leaf could we borrow? For example, if you are talking about um, anatomy, teaching anatomy, for example, you go to Singapore, you'll find these universities that no longer use uh, the human cadavers. They are using technology. It's, it's all electronic and it doesn't fall short of what the real uh, physical human cadaver can provide. Everything can be simulated in that electronic cadaver. And uh, by all means, of course, it's, it's cheaper in the long run, it's easier, and it's even more sophisticated. Uh, because if we are training medical doctors who also have to be uh, technologically compliant, ICT compliant, because these days you are talking about, for example, robotic surgery. Now, if you're training a doctor and he's going to be a surgeon and he, he doesn't know how to go about the robotic uh, surgery he, because he has not been trained at that level of technology, then he's going to find problems. So we are benchmarking. When a student comes here, the students will expect to work very hard because with us here, uh, there is no nonsense. We look at the discipline, we try to change the discipline. Interrelations with the community, with the fellow students, is very important for us. We make what we call five-star students. We're producing people who can critically think about the problems that are around them and can go after the solutions, guiding their path with evidence, like evidence-based problem solving. Out of the lecture rooms and laboratories, KIU boasts of a compelling variety of extracurricular activities. The university prides itself in being a diverse institution that provides students a taste of multiple cultures. The climax of this is the annual university cultural gala. Its men's basketball team has a solid fan base even at the national level. Any of those students in high school would like to come and play in care, you, you have to do a lot of work, prepare yourself. Obviously your academics are important. If you can pass your books, get good grades, then you can be admitted into the basketball team. The management team saw me back in high school, I used to play. So it wasn't that hard to come and tell them I want a scholarship. It was that easy. I enjoyed being a sportsman here, mostly a basketballer. So I, I play both for the league team and for the university team. This is the highest level of basketball in the country. Uh, that's the National League. So when they come here, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, a lot of determination, and a lot of fun too, because we play the game to enjoy. Uh, we'd like to enjoy as we work hard. Besides games and sports, the university provides students opportunities to interface with communities around them, such as this visit to an orphanage. As KIU students give back to the community, so does the university also give back through a bursary scheme that has benefited over 9,000 students throughout Uganda. We have been giving scholarship to every district all over the country. So if you did a survey here, you will find all districts in Uganda. I think 112 are represented in this campus. Each year, KIU holds two graduation events to enable students to graduate in time. As they graduate, KIU graduates are sure of a brighter future, a future that is guaranteed by a background of relevant research, high-quality academics and innovative community engagement. An assurance that they will indeed explore the heights of their career and professional lives in sync with the KIU motto, Exploring the Heights. <laughs>